cheesy, beautifully layered spinach and ricotta lasagna. This is the kind of dish you look at and you go, wow, that's gonna take a long time. But what if I told you that we could make all of this from scratch quicker than it takes to go and buy it? All right, come on, come on. I'm trying. No. Dude, there's traffic, what do you want? I've got all the hacks and tricks in this video, my friends. Let's do it. Let's make my quickest cheesy spinach and ricotta lasagna. Come on, we gotta go. No, let's go, let's go. Come on, all right. Let's go, come on. Oh, let's go, let's do it. So Jamie and Dax are on the road. They're heading out to buy a lasagna from the supermarket. And my challenge is that I wanna be able to make my lasagna from scratch and serve it before theirs is ready to serve. I have partnered with Panasonic for this episode and I'm going to be using their three-in-one convection microwave to help me make the fastest lasagna ever. Now this guy does grilling, oven baking, microwaving, and there's some really neat tricks that I have for using a microwave like this to make things faster. Okay, but let's get going because Jamie and Dax are doing their thing and I need to get started first of all on my tomato sauce for the lasagna. So I'm gonna start with whole peeled tomatoes. They are the least watery of the canned tomato types. I'm also choosing to use some semi-dried tomatoes. So these guys have a whole bunch of umami and salty flavor. And I guess the point that I'm getting to here is that this is gonna be a really quick cooked tomato sauce. I don't have time to get a lot of flavor, so I need to put it in there. I feel like Jamie's gonna be trash talking me already. Hey, so what do you reckon? Could she pull it off? I don't see how because I'm just gonna go buy one that's already made. She reckons half an hour because it's like it's 10 minutes for us to get to um, the supermarket from the studio and then it's like 10 minutes to be, you know, buying the lasagna back in the car and then 10 minutes back to the studio. So half an hour and she reckons she's gonna have hers done in that time. Crazy. Are you prepared to lose, Marion? I'm also gonna add in some tomato paste, some garlic, extra virgin olive oil, mix all that together, pop it in a blender, and then blend until smooth. By the way, I make this really quick tomato sauce for pizza, for pasta sauce, it's really great. Lovely, look at that. Oh, it already smells good. Now I do wanna cook this a little, so I'm gonna pop it into here, plate on top here, straight in my microwave. Oh, I feel like... <laughs> I'm gonna come around. Okay, so this literally just needs two minutes. All right, you ready? Do it. Let's go. Um, this is all frozen. We can't do frozen. Okay, here we go, ready meals. Lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. You'll laugh. What, are you kidding me? Sold out. What? Oh, that's all right, I think we can do it again, let's go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't mean to rush you, Jamie, but... Uh, Look, this is horrible. I allow for this kind of... Uh... This is horrible. Now I'm going to do my cheese sauce. Now, guys, this is really cool because instead of going and making a bechamel and taking forever, this is my cheats lasagna cheese sauce that I use weekly. You want to start off with some cottage cheese, some grated parmesan cheese, some corn flour. Now this is the secret binding ingredient here and some sea salt. Mix all of that together and your cheese sauce is done. All right, let's have a look at the tomato sauce. Here we go. There we go. Let's move. Let's go. Let's move. All right, here we go. Lasagna, lasagna, microwave. Look at it, look at it. Pork and beef lasagna. If Marion can beat this, I'll eat the whole thing by myself. My tomato sauce is ready. Ah, oh, that smells good. All right, let's give that a mix. So good and tastes like it's literally been simmered for like hours. Ah, so I am two elements deep. Tomato sauce, cheese sauce. I just need to do my spinach next. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. How's that time? We're good? No, we still got um, 10 minutes to go, so no worries. There's no way she's got a lasagna done by the time we get back. Do you reckon she can? I don't know. But honestly? I'm, I'm doubtful, big time. Did you hear that, Marion? Dax is doubting you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Should we just go, um, what do you reckon we go to the marina and go get a nice little iced coffee and just chill out for a second? She's, we got that much time? Yeah, we're good? Yeah, we're all right. All right, let's do it. The thing with a spinach lasagna is that you have a lot of spinach to cook down. Normally you'd be doing that on the stove top, but I'm gonna do this in the microwave. Just kind of like squish down that spinach, plate on top, and this is literally gonna be five minutes. 
So my spinach will go in here once it's wilted. But I'll just get this going first of all. There's a few little extras here I like to put into this mix that make it extra tasty. Some garlic, some nutmeg. Now you can use just regular ground nutmeg. I love to have whole nutmeg and grate it fresh. The extra flavor you get makes it so much worthwhile. A little bit of salt here too, I think. Now I wonder where Jamie and Dax are up to. Let's go have a little iced coffee. What do you reckon? How are you, mate? Uh, just a couple of uh, good, a couple of iced coffees. Yeah. I'm that confident about how much time we have. I thought we'd get some iced coffees. Do you want one? Let's do it. Isn't this nice? Plenty of time. Plenty, Plenty of, time. of time. Always time for a coffee with me, mate. Probably get him back then. Yeah, we should probably get back. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Spinach wilted, and then all we need to do is drain it. So make sure you've got a colander over a bowl, pop your spinach in there, and just use like a ladle to push down and just squeeze out as much liquid as you can. Add in all of the spinach that you've wilted and drained and then blend until fairly smooth. This is the kind of situation you're looking for. So spinach done, tomato done, cheese sauce done. Now I just need to build my lasagna. So just spoon a little bit of the tomato sauce on the bottom of your baking dish and then top with your lasagna sheets. I'm using fresh lasagna sheets here because they do cook quicker. I'm gonna top that layer with some of my cheese sauce and then some of the spinach. Okay, and then we're pretty much just doing this until I've filled up my lasagna dish. I'll be back soon. I know. <laughs> well, Jamie's still got to cook his though. Does he know that? You have to have like an actual cooked lasagna, right? I bet he's forgotten that. Good luck, Marion. Here I come with my fully loaded lasagna. This is Jiffy. <laughs> you got it. She doesn't stand a chance. You smashed ya! Hey, no, you could have cooked it! What do you mean? You could have cooked it. Well, is that ready to eat? Um, yeah, no, nah, probably not. <laughs> did you preheat the oven for me? I did. I even, I even preheated the oven for you. How long is the cook time on here? Did you even oh, check? <laughs> did you check to get the shortest no. cook time? No. Well, uh, you tell me. How long? 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I was you, I'd be getting that in the oven right now. Um, okay, yeah, right. Oh, I'm definitely going to lose then. All right. Fingers crossed, Marion's lasagna takes more than 55 minutes. Nah, nah. Should I just leave? You should probably just leave. I'll be back in 55 minutes. <laughs> Keep going until your dish is filled to the top. Finish off with a cheese layer plus mozzarella on top. And that, my friends, is your lasagna ready to bake. Okay guys, so this is where things get really cool. Now, as we heard from Jamie, it's like a 55 minute cook time, like 40 minutes to an hour is typically what you need in an oven for a lasagna. So using combination power here and this kind of convection microwave, I think this is one of the things where people don't actually use it to its full potential. So I'm gonna use the combination setting where I've got convection plus microwave. So the microwave cooks the center, the convection cooks the outside, gets the cheese browning, and we're gonna get this guy done 15 minutes. There is nothing going on with Jamie's lasagna, I can tell you that. <laughs> seconds, we're mere seconds away. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? ready? Ta-da! I mean, look at that! Ah, this is a legit 15 minutes. Look at that. That just doesn't happen anywhere else. Ah! Okay, let me show you what the oven version looks like after 15 minutes. Our oven version still is yet to get any kind of deliciousness on the top here. It's pale. And every step of my cheats microwave version was quicker and easier than doing it the traditional way. I still love a traditional lasagna, don't get me wrong, but I love that I can do this in like, what did we do it in, in Holly? Like, 35 minutes About total? 40 minutes. 40 minutes total. Let's cut this. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, oh, so hungry right now. Just 
Hey Jamie, do you want to try, come and try this? Honestly, I don't even know why I'm bothering <laughs> being here anymore. You feel duped, don't you? Oh, look, it's just my own fault, really. I did explain the process. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really listen to that. <laughs> this is yours. I won't waste it. I will put it back in the oven. I just wanted to compare at the 15 minute mark. Should we tell Marion what I said I'd do? If, if Marion can be this, I'll eat the whole thing by myself. Get out. Are you serious? <laughs> So you now have to eat this whole No, 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 no. Like, no. I'm saying all bets are off. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, here you go. I'll cut you some lasagna. That's why you're here. Okay, I'll there try with lasagna. Go. Try some lasagna. It's good, huh? Good job. Yeah, it's good. Good job. Oh, well, I'm the winner. I got to eat some delicious 15 minute microwave lasagna. And then now you get to eat one kilo store bought lasagna. Good times. Good times. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>